I got the Praia Tuano out today. I missed it. Absolutely amazing bike. I'm going to keep it for a while. Probably sell it in January. But anyways, I'm back to the scene of the crash where I crashed my YZ450FX back on October 4th and I broke my uh, collarbone. Set me up for a real effed up day. I thought I'd decide to visit the scene. Check it out. That's where I did the donut action on the YZ, baby. <laughs> Look at that perfect donut. Amazing. But anyways, guys. Hey, guys. But anyways, guys. Whoa. <laughs> but anyways, guys. Top five things that people complain. Where did this dog come from, man? <laughs> hey, he likes to pray it too. <laughs> All right. <laughs> but anyways, guys, <laughs> you don't like bikers. All right. Hey, can you get... <laughs> anyways, top five things that bikers like to complain about. Stay tuned. Let's go for a ride. watching cycle cruises all on one motorcycle channel subscribe today continually video suggestions but you may find what you're looking for by visiting my website at cyclecruiser.com and click on the menu tab my videos and those are a bunch of playlists with all of my videos categorized in them to make it easier for you to navigate through on this cold day these heated gloves come in real handy these are battery powered heated gloves and if you want to get these or and my uh, my airbag vest ultra light carbon fiber helmet and uh, my uh, winter Dionese jacket, all of my gear, camel pants. I always include links to all my gear in the description and comment section of my videos. Or go to my website at cyclecruiser.com and click on the menu tab, my gear. Yeah! <laughs> I'm telling you guys, it's like 40 degrees out here. It's freezing, man. But this Dionese winter jacket I got on is keeping me nice and warm, toasty. The number one thing that bikers like to whine about the most that I always hear complaints about is about wearing a helmet <laughs> now here is 2019 and we still have bikers out here complaining about wearing a helmet so they don't wear it because it messes their hair up the ladies can't see them when they ride by so they can you know be looking cool on their bike and uh or it's just it's too hot outside for a helmet well guys i want you guys to visit a nursing home and visit the young bikers that are in there slobbering on themselves because they didn't want to mess their hair up you know they didn't want to be too hot <laughs> but they had a real effed up day and busted their head and now they don't have their brains all messed up. They got brain damage and they're relegated to a nursing home for the rest of their life at a young age because the helmet just wasn't cool for them. It wasn't, it's just too uncomfortable to wear. <laughs> well, how uncomfortable are they right now in that nursing home? You know what I'm saying? So I don't want to hear no excuses. You put that lid on. I don't want to hear no excuses. But anyways, that brings me to number two thing that people whine about, and this is fitting, seeing that I'm on the highway. Woo! Oh man, this thing's a beast. <laughs> Woo! This a prayer is a beast. They complain about the wind. Right now it's a super windy day out here. Hopefully you can't hear it in the video. <laughs> but people they they say they don't like these uh, these Street Fighter type of bikes because it doesn't have any wind protection. Uh, and they whine about the wind. Oh, it fatigues me. Oh, man, get out of here. <laughs> I love the wind. It wakes my soul up. I love feeling that wind blast on me, man. And, uh, dude, if you can't take the wind, then you need to take your pansy self back in your car. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Where you can look good for the ladies. You don't have to wear a helmet. Ride around looking cool in your Corvette. Doing street legal speeds. <laughs> Number three thing that people like to whine. Bikers like to whine about. 
seat height. I get so sick of people, bikers, talking about seat height. When a new motorcycle comes out, that's the first thing a lot of short riders ask. How tall is the bike? Because, oh man, it's too tall. You know, I got to stick with the lower seat height. Dude, I don't want to hear that anymore. And I don't want to hear any of you riders out there complaining about you won't ride a dirt bike because the seat height is too high and you're too short. I don't care if you're vertically challenged. You know what I'm saying? What you need to do is you need to put your foot down, one foot, all you need is one foot to put down to uh, as a kickstand. That's all you need to do. Pretty much everybody can do that unless you're a midget. And I've seen midgets on full-size bikes out there, guys. <laughs> so I don't want to hear no excuse. There's no reason why you should be worrying about seat height. <laughs> Number four thing that people like to complain about is it's too cold outside to ride or it's too hot. Dude, right now it's like 38 degrees right now, man. <laughs> and I'm out here riding. I ride year round here in Ohio. There's no excuse. I actually like riding in cold weather because you put all, all the gear, you can control your heat. You can wear heated gear like these heated gloves that I've had, which I have a link to in the description and comment section of this video along with all my other gear. You can wear heated, other heated gear too. Be nice and toasty out here on these cold days. And it works out just perfect. And for those of you guys complaining about it's too hot outside, you don't want to wear your leathers. And that's another reason why you don't want to wear your gear because it's too hot. Well, I tell you, you go down and mess your, uh, scrape your skin up here on the, uh, the cement. You wish you had on some leathers. It set you up for a real effed up day. <laughs> yeah. Let me hold off on getting some gas. I want to finish this video, man. We got to talk about these whiny bikers out here. <laughs> and, uh, woo, I love the sound of this bike. Sounds like a MotoGP bike. As long as it's at least 35 degrees out, I'm good. As long as it, the weather doesn't support ice, I'm good. I'll be out here riding. And as far as hot weather, to me, it can never be too hot. As long as you have, you make sure you have a water bladder. But also, it depends on the gear you're wearing. Wear a CE armor jacket uh, that I have. I have a link to in the description and comment section of this video. And I, pretty much anybody can afford it. It's like 50 bucks or something like that. Lightweight. It's got the CE armor gear all over. Back protection. Flows a ton of air. I wear that. That's what you see me wearing in the summertime. Sometimes I put a dirt bike jersey over it. Uh, but that's what I'm wearing most of the time, man. And, uh, you know, if it's over like 100 degrees or something, I know you guys out in Arizona, you know, uh, you know get a, some super hot weather. If it's ridiculously hot, I can understand, man, because you don't want to, <laughs> you don't want to uh, overheat on your bike, man. It could set you up for a real effed up day. Uh, but, like I said, Make sure you got that water bladder like I have here. Got a link to it uh, on my website, cyclecruiser.com, with all my other gear. And uh, what brings me to number five is a lot of bikers out here whine about uh, other, you know, Harley Davidson riders. Sport bike riders whining about Harley Davidson riders and Harley Davidson riders whining about sport bike riders. I hate to hear it. I'm so sick of it. I don't know what to do because we're all brothers and sisters of two wheels. You know what I'm saying? The Harley Davidson riders are, are busy whining about sport bike riders blowing by them. Bye bye! <laughs> I had to do that, man. That's for you. What's black and red? It goes. That's right. It's the black and red Suzuki. And, uh, you know, they call them all kinds of names. And then you got the sport bike riders that are whining about the uh, Harley Davidson riders because their bikes are too, they say their bikes are too loud or they're revving it all the time. Dude, we all rev our bikes. <laughs> I've done that myself. I've been a douchebag. <laughs> enjoy the sound of our bikes 
But we gotta stop this uh, back and forth, you know what I'm saying? We're all brothers and sisters of two wheels, like I said, guys. It's absolutely uh, ridiculous that you guys whine about that stupid nonsense and divide, you know, divide us bikers. You know, all, it, all that matters is that you're riding on two wheels. That's it. As long as you're riding out here. And that's what I'm doing on this nice and crispy cold day. It feels real good. As long as I got my heated, battery powered heated gloves on. <laughs> I'm feeling real good. Loving it out here. I wish we had a little sun out here in Ohio though. <laughs> uh, but that's what we get. The sun disappears here uh, come come uh, winter time. <laughs> we'll see it maybe in the springtime. But anyways guys, leave a comment. And let's talk about it guys. What else do bikers whine about? Or tell me why you don't like the points that I made or whatever. Come on, let's discuss. That's why I do these videos. I enjoy conversing with you guys in the comments. Uh, but I got to get some gas because this thing eats gas. I get like 26 miles per gallon on this bike. <laughs> but anyways, I love it. Deuces. Thumbs up. Check out my playlist for new riders and popular videos. Don't forget to comment and subscribe and check out my other channel, Bug Out Moto, where I customize a van for my motorcycle so I can live in my van with my motorcycle and travel across the country anywhere. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Bug Out Moto.